Hello and welcome again to our reading of Thucydides, selections from Book 4 on the story of Pylos and Spacteria, and we're going to read from section 22. So, um, pros maintain apocrisin, so to the reply, the reply being in the previous chapter where the Athenians have replied to the Spartan envoys, so to this reply, they, that's the Spartans, um, gave reply in respect of nothing. So they gave no reply. Um, but, so there's their men and our bet there, but they bid them to choose something like commissioners, people who sit down together. It's more like a select committee. Um, for them, that is to deliberate with them. They don't, the Spartans do not want to have to speak to the assembly. Who, um, speaking and hearing, so this is referring back to these, this um, subcommittee, who speaking and hearing regarding each matter, uh, will come or will agree so will come to agreement katahezukian it's literally with quietness so calmly as opposed to yelling in the assembly so calmly in respect of whatever thing they might persuade one another so speaking and listening on each point they might calmly come to agreement on whatever point they were able to persuade one another. Cleone de, but Cleone in Taltha at that point day indeed. Polus in Ekato. Um, well, it's something like, uh, so en kami can mean to attack, to, to press hard on. Um, so he pressed hard on them, he acted violently to them. We might translate it something like he's, he dug his heels in. We use the expression to lay into somebody. Well, it's probably not too far removed from that here. Um, so he dug his heels in, saying that he knew, and we get a men and a de, so saying that he knew even beforehand uh, them having nothing just in mind. So saying even beforehand that he knew they had no just intention, no just plan. Um, and it to be clear also now that they wished to speak to the multitude Uden in respect of nothing, so that they did not wish to speak to the multitude. They did not wish to say, uh, sorry, did, did not wish to speak Uden anything. So they wished to speak nothing, so they didn't wish to speak anything to the plethos. This is the assembly, the multitude, to the public but that the commissioners wished to be with a few men. So um, they, they, the, the commissioners wanted to confer with, perhaps for, for Gignes there, to be with, to confer with a few individuals, with a few men. Um, but uh, if Uh, literally they were intending some healthy thing so if their intentions were sound we might say for Hugias here uh, he bid them to speak to everyone so he bade them to speak to everyone now of course that's not 
very easy for the Spartans, who are not generally known for their speaking skills. They don't want to speak in the open assembly. They want to just have a small subcommittee they can discuss things with and come to agreement. But Cleon, of course, doesn't want that. The Spartans seem... And we get an Ute here, and there's another one down here. Ute, Ute. So the Spartans seem um, neither that hoyon te on it being possible for them to speak to the multitude to speak among the multitude perhaps now this is that hoyos te amy idiom i am able literally i am such that hoyos te amy and the amy here is becoming a participle so it's just a neuter participle on so the spartans seeing that Neither was it possible for them to speak to among the multitude, to speak to the crowd. And, or perhaps even if um, it seemed good to them to, in some way to come to an agreement, hupertes sum for us, in this um, situation, so in the circumstances, this can mean also disastrous circumstances, which of course is what they're in. So if indeed it did seem good to them in the circumstances to make some concessions, to come to agreement in some way. Now when you see may here like this, it often you have to understand a verb of fearing. So they feared lest speaking... So if they spoke and were unsuccessful, that's not meeting with, understand, success. So if they spoke and were unsuccessful, they would be slandered from Diabello, this is the um, Eros passive subjunctive, they would be slandered in regard to their allies. Or slandered to their allies. Um, and we get the other Ute, so neither did they think it was possible to speak to the assembly nor did they think that the athenians being about to act um, epimetriois on reasonable terms being a sorry that the athenians um, being about to do on reasonable terms ha the things which they were being invited to, and I invited to do. So fairly difficult Greek here. So uh, fearing lest they be they be slandered to their allies if they spoke and were unsuccessful, nor did they think that the Athenians, on reasonable terms, would do the things which they had been invited to do. So all that having happened. Anacharesen, they retreated from Athens, apractoi, having achieved nothing. This alpha privated with that prasso root there. Having achieved nothing. And that's the end of that 